How's it going, folks? Uh, it's been about three weeks, but haven't really had much of an inspiration lately. Um, those of you that are in the Hangouts with me on Google Plus every so often know that long about December of this year, uh, we were talking about weapons, and I brought this one out to uh, show it in the hangout pulled the thing out showed how easy it was taken apart put it back together and as I reassembled it the spring broke now the way this spring is usually this is compacted down onto here and there's a little head on the end of it that holds the, the spring intact well, of course, the head busted off, and the spring came apart. Couldn't exactly put it back together. The spring's well over 10 years old. But, just to give you a little idea, I did one of these before, I think, on my Daddy Tech channel, but... There's where the spring is mounted. It comes out pretty easily. Um, this time I actually ordered one that goes in the Glock or the Smith & Wesson, either one. Now this is an aftermarket spring. It is not made by Smith & Wesson and it is not made by Glock. It's a lot more stiff and it does not have the plastic shaft. This one actually has an aluminum shaft on it. Still a stainless steel spring, but aluminum shaft, so I don't have to worry about that one coming apart anytime soon. So, place this back together like so. And you slide it on here. And there we have it. Smith and Wesson 40 caliber functional again. Now, I bought this one at a pawn shop for $350. Since they've gained in popularity and they're, they continue to make this weapon, they also have the, uh, the VE series. Or I guess they call it a value edition series. Uh, this one does have the extra uh, comfort grip on it. little rubber addition to the stock. And I can be pretty accurate with it at times. I'm way out of practice because it's been well over six months since I shot anything. But I'm thinking today I'm going to throw a few things up on the my trailer or whatever and uh, snap off a few rounds and see how things work out see how rusty I really am after well over six months of not being able to shoot it but uh, got me a box of target rounds they're cheap it's a hundred uh, hundred to a box I've already shot some of them out of it uh, they're probably, I want to say they're probably uh, eight months, yeah, about eight months old. No, well, I take that back. Actually, I've not shot any out of this box. And this is just a 50 box, not a 100. Um, this is a 50 round box of target rounds. 180 grain full metal jacket. They're just ball rounds. They're not um, hollow points or anything. It even shows right there target range, target or range. So these are the the cheaper ones to shoot. They're oh shoot, I want to say paid 24. 
I think, for that box of 50. And the box of 100 that I usually get is usually like 48, 36 or 48, somewhere in there. But they haven't had the box of 100 in, in a while. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is uh, set me up a few little things to shoot at and unload a, at least a clip. Because like I said, it's been a while and I know I'm really rusty, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to be standing about 30 yards back. Um, that's about the usable distance of a pistol. Here goes. I'm obviously a lot rustier than I thought. Made to rock and roll, here we go. I'll stand back. Yeah, I did a little better that time. Actually got close to the gray spot. But I'm standing quite a ways back too. Once this is all done, I'll take you over and let you see the real damage. Pretty impressive. Now stay back. Yeah, they gave up. 